Welcome back. The pandemic has shown how fragile global food supply chains are, with many supermarkets and restaurants in almost every country having experienced food shortages. At the same time, one third of all food produced each year is wasted or spoiled before it can be eaten. That works out as an estimated $1.3 trillion worth. Yesterday, I spoke to Tessa Clark, who's the co-founder and CEO of Olio, which is a mobile app for food sharing aimed at reducing food waste. Olio at its heart is a neighbour-to-neighbour -neighbour food sharing app, and also you can use it to give away other household items too. Over the past couple of years, though, we have developed into um, a sort of a B2B offering, whereby we enable large retailers and contract caterers to have zero food waste locations. And so how that works is we have 30,000 volunteers who collect and redistribute the unsold food at the end of the day from businesses such as Tesco, Compass Catering, Booker, Pret-a-Manger, etc. And our service enables those businesses to have zero food waste locations. And the pandemic has really highlighted the issue of food insecurity, hasn't it? Why are initiatives like yours needed? So unfortunately, we do have these twin evils of food waste and food insecurity coexisting and both growing very rapidly. Olio's solution is all about marrying together digital technology with uh, empowered citizens within their local community. And that's an incredibly scalable way to solve both of those problems. So we've seen gaps on the shelves in the UK due to supply problems with similar scenes in other countries. How can cutting food waste help? So it's shocking to believe this, but globally, a third of all the food we produce each year gets thrown away, and the same applies in the UK. So kind of very simple logic, but if you were to throw away less food, then that would um, sort of flow back up through um, the supply chain and could play a really significant role in helping to relieve some of the pinch points that we've got. So obviously not throwing away food is the key point, but what steps can businesses take to try and reduce waste? Is there an argument for losing use-by dates, for example? We um, definitely think that there is some merit in revisiting date labelling, in particular looking at what products use-by dates are applied to. And a number of retailers in the UK have actually uh, stopped putting use-by dates on certain products that could actually suffice with a best before date instead. And most certainly we have been part of conversations at an industry level looking at best before dates and, and what value they really do add or whether they uh, contribute to greater confusion in this area. And as a result, uh, we end up with more food waste than any of us want or need. There's research suggesting that high income countries waste as much food as sub-Saharan Africa actually produces. How do you think we can try and even out that inequality? So uh, you're absolutely right. The amount of food that's wasted in the Western world is shocking. So uh, the food that we waste could, or a quarter of the food we waste, sorry, could feed all of the 800 million people who go to bed hungry each day in the world. And the businesses looking at food waste, the first thing I would recommend is to just measure uh, your food waste throughout every step in your supply chain and operations. The next step then is to kick off a suite of projects to look at how you can reduce that food waste. And we are finding that many businesses are reaching the inevitable conclusion, which is that they need to work with Olio and our sort of hyper-local community-based solution if they want to achieve that final step, which is getting to zero food waste stores and locations. And that is critical because businesses are on the race to net zero. They're trying to implement their ESG goals. And just as importantly, their customers and their employees are calling time on food waste.